Today, we are taking the world's best Minecraft hacks and putting it all into one video so you can become the best player ever. All right, listen, I'm in my world right now, everybody. This video is gonna be a little bit longer than normal. We're gonna be showcasing the best hack that we've ever shown on the history of this channel in today's video. Buckle down, leave a like, let's do this. Okay, so we have our crowd surfing arena right here. Now, all we have to do is spawn in our crowd, which we're gonna be using creepers. I'm curious, does it have to be creepers or can it be any kind of mob, like a zombie or a skeleton? Or, I don't know, a freaking a, a pig. I don't know. I'm assuming we're definitely gonna need to have a lot of them. Like every little gap has to be full of creepers or else you're probably gonna fall. All right, so we have our crowd here. Listen, if this works, I need everybody watching right now to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I say it once and I'll say it again. We're trying so hard to hit 5 million subscribers this summer. And the only way it's going to be possible is with all your love and support. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Yo, what? It actually works, bro. Are you serious? That's so cool. Now we can flex on all these creepers that we are uh, crowd surfing on their head because who wouldn't want to crowd surf? Now, my real theory is, does this work with every mob or is it only creepers? Ah, uh, yes, a much more efficient way to spawn in our zombies. Let's go. And... Voila! Okay, there are well over 400 zombies right here. Can we crowd surf on zombies as well? Let's figure this out. Three, two, one. Oh my God, you can. What? Bro, that's so cool. Why would you want to crowd surf? I, like I said, I don't know. But why not? That's the question. We learn new things about Minecraft every single day. And now we've learned that you can crowd surf. Leave a like for crowd surfing because y'all, it sounds lit. BRB, I'm just going to go crowd surf real quick. Yay! Don't fear, the shark man is here, okay? I have a legitimate way that we can place water in the nether. Check this out. Give Zero Nine Shark Boy, we, we're gonna need the Minecraft debug stick. It's, it's gonna go ahead and give you this stick right here. It's literally called the debug stick, which is uh, rather interesting to say the least. We need to go ahead and grab an item that can be waterlogged. So if I go ahead and grab a slab or something, just like this, we can go ahead, place the slab down. Now, if we right click it, just like this, now you'll see at the bottom, it says type to double. We can right click it again, type to top, type to bottom. There's so much going on. So we need to use a block that can be waterlogged. So we're going to go ahead here and use a fence. Go ahead and place the fence down just like this and then grab your debug stick and right click it. Now you'll see at the bottom, it says like a bunch of random stuff. East to true, east to false, east to true. I don't even know what half of this means. We're going to want to go ahead and actually punch the fence like this. So uh, now you can see there's a bunch of random stuff. Then we see this selected waterlogged false. Now check this out. Y'all will literally never believe this. If I go ahead, if I now right click with the debug stick, look, there's legitimately water in the nether right now. Oh, you think it's stationary water? Nope. nope, you're wrong. It's water that actually flows and it, it's completely working water. This is the most legitimate way that you can actually get water in the nether. If you never knew that, I'm gonna need you guys to subscribe and leave a like for the YouTube algorithms. We are winning this war, everybody. Dude, that is so freaking cool. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one because boy, do I have a list that you guys are gonna love. This is a really unique way that you can make your own mini map in vanilla Minecraft. So this is actually a lot easier than you might think. All you're gonna need for this is a bunch of banners. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of different color banners here. We have white, orange, pink, we got blue. So the first banner, I'm gonna name this to village. The orange banner, I'm gonna name it to house. The pink banner, I'm gonna name it to... <laughs> All right, so once you've got all your banners, go ahead and place them in the specific locations that you want them to be at. Now, I'm just gonna go around and place them in random spots. All right, this is where my house would be. <laughs> Shrek Swamp. <laughs> Voila. Now, if we go ahead and we actually just grab a map and load it in, boom, just like this. Now, once you've loaded your map in, go to each and every single banner and make sure you right-click them. Oh, see, now you see Village on there. We have just made our very own mini map in complete vanilla Minecraft. Plus, this should also work on Bedrock Edition. You wanna make it a little bit better? All you need to do is go ahead and grab an item frame, put it inside of your house and go ahead and put the map inside of the item frame. Voila, you literally have your very own custom mini map and there's no mods required. Also, uh, yeah, you should totally subscribe right now, okay? If this one blew your mind, you have to subscribe right now, all right? So this is a powdered snow trap and this is actually so simple. Um, I actually had no idea that if you had leather boots, you could actually walk over the trap. Was this something that was in the update log that I completely missed or like, am I just that stupid? There's a very high chance I could be that stupid. Uh, I do see all your comments uh, roasting me during these hack videos saying that, hey shark, you're doing it wrong or you missed this. So yes, thank you for clarifying it with me because I uh, had no idea, frankly. <laughs> okay, so we have our trap right here, obviously. If I run over with no leather boots, you will fall into it, fall into a pit of lava, and voila, you're dead. However, if I have a pair of leather bootalones on, I should be able to just run over this. Oh my God, it worked. Oh, okay, okay, wait, hold up. Okay, so if you shift, then you will certainly fall through. So don't shift when you're on the powdered blocks. Okay, yo, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. I had no idea that works. I still don't understand why leather boots uh, prevents you from falling in. If you do know the answer, please let me know down below in the comments. We have a sign here. 
and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just do random lines just like this across all the signs there we go yeah now this is good this is good if you ask me. Now we're gonna grab a glow ink sack and then any dye that you want it to be. So I feel like LEDs would probably look good like red. Red's my favorite color. So honestly, I'm feeling I'm feeling red today, honestly. First off, time set night. We have to have a nighttime. It's gotta be a little dark in here. Get rid of the torch. Now we're gonna dye the signs red just like so. And then add a glow ink sack to them. Oh, this actually looks really cool. Now uh, I have to make it darker. Yo, that actually, that looks great. That looks really freaking cool. Get rid of the light right here. Oh my God, bro. That's so sick. We could probably step it up a little bit here and do this. Oh God, that looks so buggy. <laughs> oh my God. Aha, we have officially introduced LED lights into our house. Dude, this is freaking sick. This is so cool. So simple, but honestly, I'm a huge fan of this one. That's actually really cool. Well, we're just going to start by casually getting some repeaters. We're going to need a lightning rod. Okay, just like so. And then we're going to have them on the third tick, just like that. Now we want to wire them up just like this. Have a piston here and then a slime block with a lightning rod on top of it. Then you also want to place a grass block just like so. And then we're going to change the weather to thunder. Now, all we want to do from this point is just is go ahead and just spam a bunch of tridents on top of this grass block. And the second you get rid of this grass block, it's supposed to literally just make this crazy, ridiculous farm. Uh, that is, well, a, a bunch of lightning. Kind of cool to look at, uh, but its purpose is uh, undefined as we currently know. Okay, I've probably got about 15 uh, tridents right there. Here we go. Oh, three, two, one. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, what? Okay, that's cool. Yo, that's sick. What? Look at this. It's just continuously going. This is, bro. Yo, this could be so many good uses. Oh my God, bro. I'm, I got so many ideas for this. Okay, this is, yo, this is insane, bro. What? You could probably set up a farm here to make like charged creepers, uh, skeleton horses. Like there's a million things you could do. I got the achievement search protector. Protect the village from an undesired shock without starting a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Wait, even if we spawned a horse here, for example, right? Like right uh, there. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, never, hey, a little bit, a little bit too much, maybe. <laughs> oh, creeper. Can we get some charge going? Oh, yep. Yeah, we got a charge. We got a charge, creeper. This is so insane, bro. I. We are not failing today's video. Oh, we just got a witch too. Wow, this is way too hectic. Let's just go ahead and set the weather back to normal because uh, that's just uh, a little bit too much. <laughs> So if you're building a secret base, all you're going to want to do here is have like a two or three layer of grass, just like so, and build one block behind it. Like so you want to put a lever right here and then cover it back up. Now, whenever you pass by with a shovel and you right click on the grass, it'll reveal the lever just like that. And you can actually interact with it. Now we actually set something up and do some redstone here. Yo, this is actually so simple. Why haven't I thought of this one before? This is literally, dude, I swear every video we do, we learn so much. There we have it. Our secret base is now set up. Whenever you want to enter your base, all you have to do is walk up to this grass block, go ahead and use a shovel right on it, right click the lever right there, and voila, the entrance to your secret base is now open and you can officially go in. That is cool. I can really appreciate that one. That one makes the 10 out of 10 list. So apparently there is a way that you can actually set up an invisible switch to open up an iron door. Now I do know this works on Bedrock Edition, but I wanted to attempt this in Java. So this is what we're gonna do here. We have an iron door just like so. Now, realistically, this works best on houses that have a roof that are staircases like this. Now on the opposite side of the staircase right here, you actually wanna go ahead and put a pressure plate right there and then cover it back up with an oak stair. Now, as mentioned, I know this works in Bedrock, but I wanna, I wanna attempt this in Java. You're supposed to get a bow and arrow and you're supposed to aim right in between this crevice right here of the stair and the block right across this line. Well, let's just see if this actually works. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, it works. Bro, are you kidding me? So how that works is very simple. The arrow you shoot from the bow kind of glitches through and well, it hits the pressure plate and then in indefinitely opening the door for you. So simple, bro. Again, we're starting off with freaking bangers. Let's go. This is kind of really random, but it's also just hilarious at the same time. All right, so you're gonna need some honey blocks and you're gonna need a mine cart, some rails and some sort of blocks. So we're gonna set it up just like this. We'll put a rail on the stone block, just like so, then place honey blocks all the way around. Now what we wanna do is just go ahead and spawn in as many mine carts as humanly possible, but, but, but we have to do it perfectly. You gotta make sure you get it like right on the rail. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Now it's placing. You'll notice the mine cart starts like tweaking a little bit. Like it'll move like one or two pixels. This is what I like to call an friend. Okay, so I've spawned in probably like a hundred. Apparently, if you just like break the honey block and move the mine carts in any direction, they're supposed to like travel and like go all together. I don't know how that would work, but we're just gonna push. Oh my, oh, oh my God, it works. They're not even on rails. They're literally not even on rails. They're just, they're just going. They're infinitely going. Oh. And they stopped. Wait, do they keep moving? Mm. Yo, what the heck? That's so weird. And yeet. <laughs> oh my God, what? Why would you ever want to do this? I have no idea. Is it funny to do it random? Yeah, but it's going to cost you 
a lot of mine parts. <laughs> the next one I want to share with you guys is actually so cool, but first we have to go to the end for it. Okay, so while you're in the end, you can actually uh, build a really, really effective uh, wither farm, and you can do it underneath the end portal right here. Now, all you want to do here is build a little bit of a staircase going down. This may take you a couple seconds. All right, here we go. So how are we going to pull this off? First off, we're going to build two blocks down here, put a chest down. Then we're going to go ahead and put a rail on top of the chest. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab a hopper, put it on top of the chest like so. Put a rail on top of the hopper, put a minecart in the hopper on top of the rail, then break the rail just like so. And apparently this is the only setup you really need to do. Now, all you have to do at this point is spawn in the wither. And seeing as this is the only bedrock that you can actually get under uh, in Minecraft, unless you're in the nether, that would make sense too. This will actually spawn trap the wither and literally kill the wither for you now granted it's not super fast but it does work and it'll be a really easy way for you to be able to uh to grind nether stars now the only issue i'm having here is how am i going to spawn in the wither because uh well i can't exactly i can't exactly break the bedrock there if we're doing this in survival now we could potentially spawn them in sideways that could be a possibility Wait, so, oh my god it works what i didn't know that was a thing since when you gotta leave a like if you didn't know that was a thing bro that's actually insane okay so this is the moment of truth here the wither is loading up three two one there it is so as you guys can tell, currently, the wither is uh, literally stuck inside of the bedrock here, and even the Enderman is getting really upset of the wither. Granted, if you look if you look at the boss bar right now where the wither is, uh, the damage that the wither is taking is very, very slow, but it is literally taking damage, and you don't have to do anything. Now, granted, if I hop to survival mode, will the wither move? No, the wither literally won't move. I am in survival mode. Oh, okay, let's stay away from the wither. I can hang tight right under here, right beside the wither. He's not going to be able to kill me or deal damage to me. Well, minor damage. And he's, he's going to self-suffocate himself, and this is probably the best way to just do a simple wither farm no more worrying about spawning in the wither and destroying your base or a village or whatever area you're at you can literally just grind the wither just like this and uh well after some time yes the wither will die and you will be getting a bunch of nether stars oh there it is there it is oh yeah we got it let's go so freaking cool bro that's incredible first things first slime blocks we're gonna need observers we're gonna need some pistons okay so once you have your slime block like so we want to do two blocks to the side like this actually let's do this a little bit more near the surface just so i don't hit a wall because that would really suck then we're gonna do a an observer and then a piston and more slime blocks observer with another piston three more slime blocks right here grab yourself a sea lancer so you can see where you're going put that right here then put two glass blocks just like so put a rail down mine cart break the rail put glass right where the oh the observer's going oh my god okay that was almost really bad oh my god when you're ready to go just go ahead and put the piston right on the back here okay wait i think i kind of broke it give me a moment oh it's going it's going yo it actually works what now if i hop into, into survival mode i literally can breathe underwater here and we haven't made an official underwater submarine now what's gonna happen when i hit the wall is it just gonna stop it's probably gonna stop right there's no way it's just gonna go through the blocks uh oh what happened uh oh oh nope yeah we stopped this is actually so cool if you wanted to travel really far throughout the ocean this is so freaking sick kudos to this one that is so cool we have found this website right here this is called the summon mob generator website this allows you to summon any kind of mob that you would like to in minecraft if you want to make a custom mob you totally could check this out so mob zombie we could do a uh, freaking uh, a B custom name we're gonna call him uh fuzzy dude age he'll be adult mob to ride we'll have him on a uh, i don't know how about a freaking ravager we can literally add effects to the mob as well we can give him fire resistance absorption dolphins grace on a B. and then all you got to do is click right here generate the command and then copy this command paste it into minecraft just like this Voila, you have a Ravager with a bee on top. What the heck? It's so weird. And his name is Buzzy Dude. Now, what exactly is the most cursed mob that we can summon in with this? Let's try and figure that out. So, oh man. Oh, Margaret. Definitely Margaret. Then on top, we're going to have a... Oh, we're going to have a giant. <laughs> Wait, I want a giant. Dude, big boy 99. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. No way. Yo, if this actually worked, you have never seen Margaret in this final form. Oh my God. Look, Margaret is carrying a sitting giant. And the sitting giant's name is Thick Boy 99 Oh my God, bro. Like, my poor Margaret just keeps trying to throw snowballs at him. <laughs> you got to mark it someday. Someday you will kill this, this giant, but it will take a very, very long time. All right, so we have our temporary block. We put a rail on it, and then we put three sides of honey blocks like this. Then we go underneath. We spam as many mine carts as possible right here. Done. Now we put another mine cart right here, and then you jump inside of the mine carts like this, and apparently it's supposed to... That's not really uh, doing much. Am I supposed to... Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see, I see. I messed up, I messed up. So, what we, all right, once you're done spamming, go ahead, get rid of the rail just like that. Then you want to put two honey blocks like this, jump inside of the minecart, and it's supposed to make, oh my gosh, wait, yo, it kind of does. More of like a an oval. <laughs> yo, but it's a circle. It's a circle. Oh my God, bro, that's so weird. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. I'm so scared. Ah, oh my God, dude, that's so okay. On to the next one. All right, so we are now in the end here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm definitely gonna have to kill you, Mr. Dragon. You're gonna definitely ruin our spawner here. Uh, I like to call this the uh, the one punch man, okay? I am the one punch man. Me and Betty, Andy. 
<laughs> Easiest freaking battle ever. Okay, you want to grab some end stone or really any block like this. Now, we're going to want to build it uh, just above your player head, just like this. Build it as much as you want. The, the bigger you can build this, the more enemy you can trap, the more XP you can actually get from this. Oh, this is actually bulletproof. I never thought about that. Now, go ahead and grab a boat, and you want to literally just spam boats all underneath here. Kind of surround yourself in boats. That's, uh, that's we're, we're, we're making a boat army, guys. Oh my god, look. The first enderman's literally trapped. Bro, this is insane. Game mode survival, and now, now that you're in your little spawner here, go ahead and just start staring at every single enderman. Get them so upset. You can literally just look around, get all of them upset. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, guys, everybody, come and be mad at me, please. Everybody. Oh my god. Yo, this is working in, in amazing. As you can see, I currently have zero XP levels. I want to see just how long it's going to take me to get a bunch of levels from the spawner. See if it's actually efficient or not. Okay, so we have a netherite sword as well, so we can just actually start hitting them. Most of these endermen actually become one hits after a while because they take so much damage from suffocating the block. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta aggro more. I already have two levels. It's been like 20 seconds. There we go. Oh my god, dude. I remember back in the day, all the, all the enderman farms were so complex. Dude, this is so much easier. Yep, come here. Come and get some, boy. Come and get some of this shark. I know you want some. Oh my god, this is amazing. Ender, dude, I'm already level four. What? I must say, absolutely not. Do not underestimate the power of what this farm can do. This is incredible. I'm gonna sit here for 20 minutes and just aggro a bunch of endermen on me. I'm gonna see how effective this farm actually is. Only about 30% of you guys watching are actually subscribed. So if you could subscribe to my channel right now, you would really, really make me happy. Okay, let's get back to the video. All right, folks at home here, I must say this is this is definitely my favorite farm ever. It hasn't even been 20 minutes, probably more like 13 minutes. I have three stacks of pearls, almost four stacks actually, and I'm literally about to get 14 levels. Now I have 14 levels. Bro, are you kidding me? This is incredible. And if I made this even bigger, we could probably make this even more efficient. Like, dude, this is this is insane. Forget all the old school Enderman farms that we all have have grown to know and love. This is so much easier and way, way more efficient. Wow. This has to be one of the best hacks we've ever showed. This next hack is so incredible. I gotta give credit to Lumberfell. I literally saw this and it, it blew my freaking mind. So this is a one-way animal farm, meaning their animals can jump in, but they cannot jump out. This is so freaking cool. So you're gonna need to grab trap doors for this one. Now, do my extent here. Let's just test this out first. I wanna make sure I get this right. So if I go ahead and we get chickens. So if I go ahead and grab chickens, for example, right? Come here, guys. Follow me this way. Follow me over the trap door. Okay, so they can jump over this way. Now, if we go around this side, they can't jump out. What? Now we can literally make it. We can make a trap door fence all the way around like this and then do this with every single animal. All right, so check this out, guys. I can grab a cow. Come on, guys. Come this way. Come inside of my farm. Hop in. There we go. <laughs> oh, that little guy's struggling. The mobs, for some reason, can't jump over this side of the trap door, which is so freaking weird. They can jump in, but they can't jump out. I don't get why, but it worked. Dude, that is so, like, so cool. We could also do this with pigs as well. Come on in, guys. Come into the farm. Here you go. Here you go. No way. Come on out. Try and jump out. And they can't. Bro, what? Now, the coolest part is you can literally let, you can let yourself in just like that. It's so simple. You can let yourself in, let yourself out. None of your animals are going to escape. Bro. That changes the way that we're going to farm. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that one. This is an easy way to find buried treasure. All right, so step number one is to find a shipwreck and actually obtain a map. So we have just gotten a shipwreck here now. I just need to get myself a map. But, oh, let's go, finally. Okay, so once you've obtained your map here, you want to go to the X. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. It's right here, isn't it? All right, so we're on the X right now. Okay, so now we want to go and press F3. And where it says chunk, you want to line up where it says 9-9. Nine, nine. So currently it says 9 6 13. So we want to get to 9, 9. Okay, so this is 9. And this would also be 9 right here. Now, according to the TikTok, the treasure chest should be directly beneath us here. I broke it. Oh my God, it works. What? Dude, that's so insane. Let's go. Start this video off with a freaking banger. Y'all have to subscribe for that one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so place down any type of bed. And if you use the debug stick, you can actually change its properties. Oh my God, look, look guys, look. Oh my God, what, what? Look, it's a half bet. Oh my God, bro, I don't like this at all. This is, this is cursed, man. Oh my God, what? Yo, look at this. That's so weird. Now, on the topic of beds, check this one out. If you manage to find a bunch of villagers and you grab and you have a debug stick, you can actually really mess them up. Check this out. So I can use the debug stick on the villagers and I can literally change the direction they are sleeping in. Why would I want to do this? I don't know. But look at this. It's the coolest sleepover I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, bro, this is so weird. What the what the flip? Like what? So this is actually a really unique way that you can uh, bridge using sand. And I've actually seen people do this before, but I'm actually really curious to see if this is actually possible. Let's figure this out. Okay, so first things first, what we have to do here. So obviously when you're bridging with sand, let's all be honest, you literally can't. It always falls. If you try and bridge with sand, it just won't work. But however, there is a way to break the system. You guys know we're really good at breaking the system here. So effect give zero nine shark boy speed we want to max out the speed there we go we have max speed now we need to perfectly time this right in this corner here and all you need to do is hold down right click and just and just go three two one oh my that was that was a 
embarrassing. Oh, dude, here's the thing. I'm no bridger by any means. I'm really bad at it. Do I almost... Oh, I feel like I have to, like, spam click it. I feel like half the issue comes down to I'm not even good at bridging in the first place, like, at all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? I know for all the god bridges out there, a lot of you guys in the comments were like, wow, Shark, you're actually garbage at the game. How do you have almost 4 million subs? You know what? I also don't understand. I know this is possible. I can't bust this myth because I literally can't bridge for the life of me. But for all the god bridges down below in the comments, please confirm that this is real. I know you guys are out there. I am uh, pretty certain that this only works in Bedrock Edition. But for all the Java players, if you can confirm if it works or if it doesn't in Java, that would be incredible. So first thing, we're just going to head to the nether. There we go. I feel like there's always all these new ways that you can break bedrock in minecraft now this is getting way too overpowered okay now that we're in the nether go all the way up to bedrock okay this actually should be perfect so we're gonna need a cauldron we're gonna need to get a powdered snow bucket now place the cauldron up towards the bedrock like this apparently all you have to do is right click the cauldron like this i just want to check did it actually oh my god it works what so you place the powdered snow bucket twice you can break the cauldron and you'll notice it literally breaks bedrock yo that is incredible have you ever wanted to discover a new dimension in minecraft well this is the perfect hack for you in a minecraft snapshot 20w14 infinite yes infinite there is a way that you can actually travel to a new dimension called the ant dimension Check this out. We're gonna go ahead and generate a new single player world. As you can see, all my world saves are completely gone in the snapshot, which is very interesting because if I go to my saves folder, I've got tons of different saves here. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and just create a regular world, okay? Now remember everybody, I try and only share with you guys the best and craziest TikToks ever. If this is your first time watching my channel, please consider subscribing. Only 30% of you guys are actually subscribed to my channel. That means there is a remaining 70% of people that watch my videos that aren't subbed. So become a part of the 30%, all right? Okay, so check this out, guys. We wanna go ahead and make another portal, okay? Very simply. We're also gonna need a book. Now, this is just so interesting. Can we just talk about this for a second? This isn't the hack, but what is this? Yo, this is the two in one. Bro, whoa, what is this? Yo, I, I'm, guys, I'm not glitch. I'm not doing anything. I promise you, this is legit. What? This is so weird. All the, the creative in inventory, it's all, it, it's all changed. Go ahead and make another portal just like this, all right? Now, the next part is really interesting, so make sure you pay close attention. Okay, we've got our nether portal just like this now, and we throw it at the portal like that. You notice the color change in the portal just there a second ago? Let's, let's get a quick replay. If we grab a book and quill and all we have to do is type ant in it, that's it. Okay, so now the portal is much darker. You might be asking why. This is not a lie. Check out what happens when I enter this portal, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a new dimension, which is considered the ant dimension. It's made up of two blocks, white concrete and, well, just the sky. The one block. This is so weird. Why would they add a dimension like this? Now, the more interesting part is there is a section somewhere in this dimension that I want to look for. There's apparently a QR code that is somewhere generated here. Oh, is this it right here? Yo, I found it. I found it. I found it, guys. Check this out. This is all within the ant dimension. Look at this. This is the ant block. And there's a sign here that says patient. Now, this is starting to almost look like a QR code being being made up here. Maybe we can scan this and see if there's anything here. Why do they have this in the game? I mean, everything that's added to Minecraft is added there for a reason. So the next one I've got for you guys is the way that you can actually auto farm berries. This one's really cool. Check this out. So the setup is fairly easy, but let me show you guys what we have to do. So first off, we're going to need a chest followed by two hoppers and then a ton of redstone torches. And you'll see why we need the redstone torches shortly. Once we've got this, go ahead and put a block on top of the redstone torches torches so we can cover it up completely it should look something like this we're gonna place another layer of hoppers right here so make sure they're connected that's very important there we go now we've connected all the rails together just like this you might be a little bit curious as to what is even happening at this point then we can do another layer on top of the rails just like this i gotta hand it to him okay this farm is one of the cooler looking ones i mean like we already have three layers to this look at this let's quickly grab some glass and we're gonna surround the outside just like this yeah there we go i completely placed blocks everywhere okay there we go now you're almost done here all you have to do is just go ahead and place a bunch of berries everywhere just like this and last but not least you're also gonna want to throw one or two foxes in here because they're going to be auto farming this for you now every single time that a berry grows a fox will auto farm it it will fall down into the hoppers you will literally have an infinite amount of berries also make sure the mine cart's going that's very important aha there we go check this out oh wait i'm i just realized i did a big doo-doo here make sure and this is very crucial that you put the rails over the hoppers now the foxes should be able to start harvesting once these all grow and we'll actually get a bunch of berries yo look at how fast these berries are growing all right get to eat and i'm trying to get some berries oh there's one okay let's see is it in the hopper okay it's not in the hopper yet i don't know if there's any yet yo wait hold up we have 
we have 10 sweet berries in here but for some reason it's not going through the hopper i think you get the whole gist of this okay it's actually really cool and really insane there's probably a couple ways we could optimize this to make it a little bit better but it works it works pretty well so if you're walking through a door just like this and you close it on yourself you can actually jump up and then jump up again and literally double jump like that that's so i never knew that that's so sick so now next time if you're ever being followed by a mob or you're being chased by somebody just go ahead do this and get out of there dude they will literally never expect it coming that is that is so freaking big brain bro all right so i made my landing pad right here of berries now apparently you will not take any fall damage if you land on these berries i had no idea i wish i would have known a very very long time ago but let's go ahead and fly all the way up as high as we possibly can we are now above the freaking clouds game mode survival will this work let me know in the comments lock in your votes three two one. Oh god oh god here we go here we go here we go it does bro what forget mlg water buckets dude just freaking use some berries all right, so let's be honest here. Intruders absolutely suck, especially if you have a bunch of loot, just like I do right here. So I'm gonna show you a bulletproof, almost bulletproof, way that you can stop any intruder or at the very least be notified if somebody is about to intrude on your base. Now, you guys have actually seen this one before, but it's just remodified in a different way. We're gonna go and grab a puffer fish here. I showed you guys in a previous video how you can make your very own automatic eye tracking door, which, which every single time you look at a certain block, it would literally open a door for you in similar concept to this. All right, so first we're gonna want to, we're gonna wanna build a little spot for our puffer for fish here and i'm just gonna go ahead and put him in there just like that now uh he's in there right yeah okay he is he is he is oh sorry buddy i gotta gotta exile you real quick i'm, I'm sorry i don't mean to do it <laughs> i'm sorry okay and boom all right now all we have to do is go ahead and put a pressure plate right there all right time to just build my house and we're good to go why is it i always have some of the ugliest houses ever <laughs> if you think my house is ugly i'm gonna need you to leave a like right now i want to see how many people actually think my buildings are ugly so please let me know now once you've got your house here all you want to do is go ahead and put a pressure plate right there so, so every single time that your house is actually safe and no intruders are nearby the redstone lamp is off however if i happen to get anywhere near close to the house in survival mode the puffer fish will inflate turning the light on and letting you know that somebody is nearby now we could probably make this a whole lot better there we go i walked away now if i go even closer go inside maybe i'm looking around i'm snooping oh my god no oh uh, oh uh, hey buddy ow ow we could probably make this a whole lot better and even add our very own traps let me know if you guys want to see that listen i'm going to be honest with you guys if you don't have any powered rails your minecart traveling is very very slow here's a really weird glitch that you can use to impress your friends but also so speed up your traveling time when in a minecart. I don't know if you knew this, but did you know you could actually combine a boat and a minecart together by simply just pushing the boat inside of the minecart just like this? Hold up, we gotta get it closer. Let's push him in. Go. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh, oh, so close. Let's me get inside of you, minecart. Okay, that's a little weird. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. You have to push a minecart inside of a boat. So now we have this. Oh, no way. Now, what's most interesting about this is you can actually use the functionalities of the boat and be able to control the direction in which you are going. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so cool. Oh, no way. Okay, wait. Now we can probably go on. Now I just got to get on these rails. Oh, no way. Okay, there we go. Wait, now I should be able to hop inside. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. Look at us go. Literally, there is no powered rails here and I can just travel indefinitely dude quit wasting all your time on getting that redstone literally just combine a boat and a minecart i wish i freaking knew this every time i built roller coasters bro if you are still watching this video right now you are going to be so grateful that you stayed to this point i'm going to show you an infinite yes infinite trading glitch that you can do with piglins this literally i can't even wrap my head around this one all right so we're just going to need to do a good old piston clock real real quick so we're going to grab piston gold block and some redstone okay so all we're going to do here is build a little cage for the piglin just like this then we're going to want to put a slab right here and block it off so the piglin can't get out now very very simple go ahead and put a piston right about here put a piston right here and set up an auto clock right behind it okay that should be good if not we'll do another type of clock spawn the piglin in here start the clock just like this and literally all you do is drop a stack of golden ingots right on this slab right here and check this out guys oh my god oh my god bro bro look at this this is so hard to believe that this actually works look at this i literally just picked up everything drop it all right back down oh my man's trying to shoot something bro what is he doing <laughs> bro look at this he's literally spamming loot everywhere look at this this is insane i don't know what this gold block has to do with it but bro look at the loot we just got we got so many fire resistance potions we got six fire charges how insane is that I, i'm actually really curious to see if we drop say two or three stacks of gold what kind of trades could we expect from this piglin oh is he all burnt out now <laughs> he probably gave me all of his stuff <laughs> all right three two one. Oh my god i see a pearl actually i see a few pearls oh there's some 
some boots in there. Oh my God, bro. Look at all of this. Yo, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, you have to subscribe, okay? Because we're literally only, we're literally only showing you guys the best of the best hacks out there. Bro, my inventory is full. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, so we've got another bedrock glitch here. This one is uh, a little bit interesting to say the least. If you ever want to troll your friends really heavily, this is perfect for you. I'm just going to build a obsidian line just like this with a piston in the very middle. Now we're going to build another redstone clock. Boom, just like that. Okay, now all we have to do is activate it. Oh God, that was too long. Oh, there we go. Okay, now give zero nine shark boy end crystal. Now, all you want to do here is literally spam end crystals. You want to spam end crystals right here. And you just want to spam as much as you possibly can. The more end crystals you can spawn in, apparently the more end crystals you spawn in, the better this experiment works. So I'm just going to sit here for a quick minute. Oh my God. Can we look at this? What is this monstrosity? Okay. Now all you do is you stand in them. Oh my God, bro. I'm going to touch what is even going on? All you do is go ahead and you punch and you can, oh my God, bro. I, I'm in the moon. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> this is taking the reference to the moon to a whole different level. Bro, I, where am I? Hey, it's the sun. <laughs> ah, is this so bad? 